Welcome, this is Melinda Barlow, CZT, Certified Zen Tangle Teacher. And today's lesson is from Helen Williams. The tangle is called Batch, and I had a lot of fun with it. It's a, a grid tangle, so you can do it on a, uh, a, a plain grid, a diamond grid, but I'm going to do it on a little wonky grid. That's This one's a little, you know, the lines are not exactly straight. So I'm going to take a pencil and I'm going to make a, just a, a grid where the lines are just not, not straight, not perfect. So there we have this wonky kind of grid. That's what Helen Williams calls it is a wonky grid. And I just did it with a pencil to kind of, that's my string. When I, I did the string with a pencil. And because most strings are done with pencils and I haven't done that in some time. And so now we're going to put the brackets around each one of these lines. And I'm going to start up here at the top and right where those lines intersect, I'm going to put a bracket. It's kind of a, and I should have come in a little bit sooner. So we'll just go ahead and aura that. And then I'm going to do another one. And it's going to come in and come down. And I'm going to aura that one. I, I found the aura in these as I did them was much better. So there we have, and we're just going to do that on all the uh, vertical lines. And I just aura them as I come down. I'm using a phi tile and um, and an O1 pen. And now that we've got all the one side, the left side, I'm going to rotate it so that I can do the same thing again on the left side. Those these lines kind of swirl out. And we have these so-called kind of curvy lines that kind of form a bracket of some sort. That's what Helen called them was brackets. And so we have it all the way down. Now I'm going to rotate it quarter turn and I'm going to do these going this way, the same thing. Oh, I need to put my aura. I, I have done them all without doing the aura on them first. And I had a hard time aura-ing afterwards. So, And the way the brackets are a little, um, the lines are a little wonky or not, not really straight, gives this a, a different kind of look. So we just keep doing until 
all of those lines on that particular side are done. Now we're going to rotate it and you look again, where are my, my horizontal lines? Here's another one. It's a little hard to do your aura around it, but you can. You look again, here's the next line right here. We have all these wonderful swirling brackets and you can see how you could get a, um, a just have so much fun with this particular tangle. Now that this one is, oh, I've got all my brackets, now I can come back in and just add some um, detail to it. So I'm going to pick up a my O5 pen and I'm just going to put orbs before I put um, some um, striping but this time I'm going to put an orbs and my O1 pens getting a little low on ink and I want these to kind of stand out and they kind of nestle in here like peas in a pod. Here we are almost completed with all our orbs. One little one right over here I about forgot. And now we have all the orbs drawn in here. Now I can come back in and um, fill in the little crevices and the starting points so that those are filled in. I can just keep just really just keep in elaborating on this particular tangle but I think I want to add um, some some color to this particular tangle. So I am going to take and um, and I'm just going to Put a little color where these all kind of connect. Just right there. And then I'm going to take a shading stump and I'm going to moisten it with my odorless paint thinner. And then I'm going to blend this beautiful blue or blue green. out in between I have a um, jelly roll that is about that color of blue green and I am going to come in here and add some color with a jelly roll inside of these little dots. And you can see how 
that is going to just add a splash of color to your tangle. And it's going to take some time to finish this one up, but I will um, keep the camera rolling and do a little um, fast forward on it so you can see. But enjoy Helen Williams's uh, batch. But you can see how how much fun this will be. And even if I use this same um, background color and I can blend it all the way out, if I just use a little bit of that odorless paint thinner, and blend it out. It's a fun one. So enjoy Helen Williams Batch. And it's great tangle and lots of varieties. Thanks again for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. New videos on Tuesdays and Thursdays.